Hey, what's up Turtles fans? Today I want to do a quick video just quickly touching on all the upcoming Ninja Turtles projects that are in the works. I've noticed the channel's been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I also know that people's lives are busy. There's a good chance not everyone gets to catch every video I pump out. So I wanted to take all the upcoming Ninja Turtles projects that are currently in development and just briefly discuss them with you guys real quick. I think if you haven't heard of all these, you'll be kind of surprised of the push that they're making for Ninja Turtles at the moment. It may not seem like it at the moment because it's so early in the development with all these projects, but as I lay these all out, you'll start to notice that it looks like they're doing like an upward ramp as a franchise that's looking to possibly crescendo around the time of the biggest project that they're working on, which is the one we're gonna talk about first here. Now, last summer, it was reported by various sources that the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles, the 2014, 2016 live action ones that we got would no longer be continuing, that we were going to get a live action reboot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They were very vague reports. They didn't say when all this was going to happen, but earlier this year, we saw that the producers for the film are looking to start production as early as end of this year, end of 2019, which could mean we could get a TMNT live action movie as early as late 2020 if we're lucky, but there hasn't been anything announced for sure. There's no official release date that has been announced. The only details that have been announced are very few. Initially, it was announced that Andrew Dodge, the director of Bad Words, the movie, would be writing it. Uh, later on IMDb, uh, it looks like Lindsay Beer was added to the writer's list, and next to her name it says screenplay. Also, we know that Andrew Form and Brad Fuller will be producing and it looks like Michael Bay is still involved in some way or another with producing as well. I don't think we'll get the same level of explosion fest as we got kind of with the first one. I, I don't see why they would cancel the one they were already working on just to reboot it in a similar fashion. I do think this one's gonna go in a new direction. I've talked about how I think the look of the turtles is gonna be super important to the success of this movie. I've done videos about it. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Obviously other things are super important to what will make this movie successful, but that first initial look at them in the first teaser or trailer or whatever is gonna be incredibly important. And I think that's something they really gotta nail down. Andrew Form and Brad Fuller produced A Quiet Place, which, which I enjoyed. So there's a bit of a, you know, just a history or backstory on them. And uh, yeah, those are all the people involved. Those are pretty much all the details we know so far. I'll cover anything else that comes out on this live action reboot the second I hear from it. But yeah, that's the biggest thing that they're working on. But another thing they're working on is something we've been talking about recently here on the channel is the Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie. This is going to be a straight to Blu-ray digital DVD animated movie. There's gonna be a premiere showing at WonderCon in Anaheim on March 31st, 2019. But the actual release uh, for digital will be May 14th and the release for the 4K HD or Blu-ray DVD combo packs will be June 4th. I'm not sure why they space out the digital and Blu-ray release dates like that. I feel like it opens the door for a lot of piracy, but anyways, that's how they're gonna do it. I feel like they should just release them at the same time digitally and Blu-ray. If, if I'm gonna order it on digital, at least if I wasn't like a huge Turtles fan, there's a good chance that I wouldn't get the Blu-ray. I'll get the Blu-ray because, because I'm a big Turtles fan, but if I was an average movie goer and I just, saw this on digital and it piqued my interest and I rent or rented it or bought it or whatever, there's a good chance that I wouldn't pick up the Blu-ray anymore. But if they both came out around the same time and I happened to see it first, you know, at Best Buy or whatever, there's a good chance I could pick it up and not even think about renting it on digital. I feel like they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot doing that, but at the end of the day, I feel like it all comes down to the fans. If the fans really want to support this and want to see more things like this when it comes to the Ninja Turtles, like animated movies, I feel like uh, most fans have the same mindset that they'll go and pick up the Blu-ray and DVD just to kind of show the studios, you know, this is what we want. Um, 
at least I hope we'd be like that. I, I know it's a very optimistic look, but that's how I see it. I, I want them to know that I do want more like mature turtles like this, even if it is just an animated movie once a year or something like that. Uh, and I, I'll go and buy this just for that reason alone, even if I do happen to purchase or rent the digital the day the digital comes out. Money talks, people. Okay, a few more details about this animated movie we saw the trailer it came out a few days ago if you haven't checked out my breakdown on that i'll go ahead and link that up above the cast list is insanely long and i want to keep this video short and i have already covered it on a previous video so if you go see my video on the announcement when this was first announced i go through all the names and stuff so there is a gigantic cast list for this movie and a lot of talented people and a lot of great characters from both the Ninja Turtles and, you know, the Batman lore. Now, we also got the synopsis for the movie, which if you already read the comics, you pretty much know all this, but not everyone has read it. And th this we haven't really touched on on the channel yet. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it right now. And that's uh, the synopsis. It goes, Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles finds Gotham City reaching new levels of danger when Shredder joins forces with Ra's al Ghul to enact a nefarious plan, leading to the team up of the Dark Knight and the Turtles to combat the combined might of the Foot Clan and League of Assassins. Now we also heard of some bonus stuff that's going to be on the Blu-ray and Ultra HD uh, combo packs. Uh, there's th about three of them from uh, what I can tell. Cowabunga Batman When Worlds Collide, it's a featurette and it says superhero crossovers have inspired some of the most unique comics of all time. Explore the concept of the crossover and see the creativity that ensues when the worlds of Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meet. That's the first one. The second one is Fight Night in Gotham. It's also a featurette. DC animated movies have continued to push the realism of hand-to-hand -hand combat on screen. Take an exciting look at both Batman's and the Ninja Turtles fighting styles and how the creators make it feel like you're in the fight which to me is a good sign of how good the action is going to feel when, when we're watching the movie i can already just from that statement i can almost imagine that it's going to be like a very realistic type of action very thumping and i and i can't wait to you know experience it and one of the final bonus things that they'll have on there, it looks like a sneak peek at the next DC Universe movie, Batman Hush, uh, which this will be their next movie. It'll just be a Batman movie. It doesn't really have anything to do with the Turtles, but I have heard the Hush story that does sound like it would make a great animated movie. So looking forward to that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all we know on this Ninja Turtles project. Now, speaking of animated movies, this next one is probably not gonna be PG-13. But it is worth mentioning, whether you're a fan of the new rise of the TMNT or you just, it's just not for you, you don't like it. It's still wild to think that a network like Nickelodeon, a TV network, is developing feature length animated film of the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Netflix. Now, if you watch my reviews on the show, you, you know where I'm at with it. It's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. If you ask me at the end of the day, would you have done something like this with the Ninja Turtles? I'll tell you no. This is probably not the way I would have taken the Ninja Turtles. You know, one of my complaints, if you've watched my reviews, is that I do not dig the 11 minute episodes. I do not dig them. They're just too short. They feel rushed. And I enjoy more of the 30 minute episodes. I always say if you don't like Rise, uh, just check out the 30 minute episodes. That way you can kind of, you know, follow along with what's going on. And those I feel like are just put together better. I feel like if you are if you don't like the show, but you do want to check it out, at least I'm going to, you know, recommend something where the quality is actually a little bit better than the other episodes. And those are the 30 minute episodes. And I feel like if they bring that same effort with this feature, animated rise of the tmnt netflix movie which which is what we're talking about i kind of went off on a tangent there but i do believe they can produce a pretty good animated movie I, I mean if i'm enjoying the 30 minute episodes as much as i am i think that with a bigger budget a longer runtime, that the animated movie might give us something special something that even if you're not a rise of the tmnt the tv show fan you may still get some level of enjoyment from this animated Netflix movie. And I'm not saying if you don't like the new show, it, this will get you into the show. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't write it off. Definitely check it out. And if you can enjoy it just by itself for what it is, then yeah, just an extra bit of Turtles content that we can enjoy as Turtles fans. 
As far as I know, there's no timetable of when this movie is going to come out, who's involved. I'm presuming it's the regular voice cast, but director or anything like that, I haven't heard anything. Just like with these other projects, if anything drops, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Now, speaking of Rise of the TMNT, we do know that they will continue with a second season. This was announced sometime last year, and it looks like around maybe late summer is when the second season is gonna kick off. There is a good chance this is where we get Shredder. I don't know any official details about anything like that, that's just my assumption, but yeah, Ninja Turtles episodes look like will continue through the end of the year if season 2 follows suit with the way season 1 went down. So what's that? We have a live action movie reboot, a DC Ninja Turtles crossover animated PG-13 movie, a straight to Netflix Rise of the TMNT animated movie, and Rise of the TMNT season 2. There's a bunch of smaller Ninja Turtle stuff that's also going on right now. IDW has been kicking ass with the Ninja Turtles in my opinion. I'm not fully caught up, I have been reading Shredder and Hell, I do plan on reviewing it here on the channel. For the most part, they're kicking butt, and it was announced earlier this year that the series Batman slash the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 3 would be coming. They've already done one and two, I believe they were both six issue series. I only read part one, I do plan on reviewing that here on the channel as well. But it does seem like part three, at least from the statements that were given, that it will be the final installment in this whole Ninja Turtles Batman crossover stuff. And it does look like Kevin Eastman will be jumping on this final installment, which is great news if you're a Turtle fan. Now, as for toys, I do gotta say, you know, the rise of the TMNT toys came out, but the highlight of this year has have to have been NECA and their releases of their Ninja Turtles toys. The 1990 movie toys that came out at GameStop were unbelievably great. From the looks of people's reaction on social media, it does look, to me at least, like they had a hard time keeping those on the shelves, which is a good sign. That means they kept selling out. These things have been what I've wanted my entire life. I picked up all four. I've done an unboxing of them here on the channel. I'll link that up above. Check that out if you haven't checked it out. But NECA has also recently released at Target two packs of the 1987 cartoon turtles and they come with like a foot soldier or the shredder or somebody they there's two packs so you get a you know a hero and a villain in each pack and these things are phenomenal as well if you're a turtles fan NECA NECA's Ninja Turtle game is on point I have seen them talking online about Splinter you know if like the if if their figures do well uh, like the current ones that they have released that there is a possibility that they could do Splinter it doesn't say that they have anything in the works or anything like that but that there's a good chance we could get it if you know sales do well with the current line of toys that they have out there so that is something we're absolutely going to cover if you know they start releasing pictures of that we'll go ahead and cover it here and talk about it but that's it that's pretty much everything that's coming down the sewer pipe when it comes to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It doesn't seem like a lot when you see like little announcements here and there on social media or on the web, but when you see it all together in a big picture like this, it's like, whoa, you know, Ninja Turtles trying to take over the game right now. They have a big blockbuster, you know, got they got that base covered. They have a couple animated movies, even a Netflix one and DVD and Blu-ray one. You know, they got those bases covered. They have a TV show animated, uh, that base is covered. They have the books, the comic books covered they have toys covered at the moment feels like the only thing we're missing is a video game I know we got the Ninja Turtles on Injustice 2 earlier last year but it does seem like if they were to come out with a Ninja Turtles video game that that would be one of the next things that's gonna be announced now I don't know anything for sure I'm, I'm just I'm guessing here but I wouldn't be surprised if something like that got announced but that's it that's everything that's coming down the sewer pipe for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I know I wanted to keep it short and I think we're going on 20 minutes now but that's all that's a bunch of stuff to talk about so uh yeah it went on a little longer than i thought it would but yeah what do you guys think about all this what's the thing you're excited for the most when it comes to the ninja turtles let me know down below is it the new live action reboot is it some of the animated movies which one is it the you know is it the possible reveal of shredder in the rise of the tmnt cartoon or is it 
Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 3 in the comics? Let me know down below what is the thing you're looking forward to the most. But that's it for this quick video. If you're stumbling across the channel and want more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles content in your life, this is the place. Go ahead and subscribe. That's all we talk about here. New, old, upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please hit thumbs up. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in a little bit with another video. Take care. Ninja Vanish! Pizza Dude's got 30 seconds.